at one level we have to build up world consciousness that do not think about the problems of your own area, your own community, the locality where you live or the country where you live, but think about the whole humanity because our, we are all connected to each other. You know one of the basic principle of ecology is interdependence. Three basic principles are limitation, complexity and interdependence. The resources of the world are limited. If we go on misusing them as we are doing today, a day will come when there will be no petrol, there will be no source for coal, what are you going to do? So, resources are limited. So, we must adopt a lifestyle to limit our wants. Limitation of wants is also one of Gandhi's major principle. Limitation of wants not by any outside agency like state or government anything, no. You must limit yourself, whatever you need have that much, why should you have more? So, one of the basic principles is limitation, other is complexity and third is interdependence. The whole, I would not say even only humanity, but the whole uh, universe is interdependent. Humans, animal world and plant world and then rivers and mountains and air and everything, we are all interdependent upon each other. So, it is not possible that one looks for one's own interest or the interest of one's community or country, it is not possible. You are connected with the whole world. If you are harming others, you are harming yourself. So, one has to adopt a lifestyle in which you do not harm anybody. That is follow non-violence. Because harming others is harming your own self. Killing somebody else is killing a limb of yours because you are all connected. Same with the whole atmosphere, the biosphere, we are all connected. That is why if saving the, in, protecting the environment is necessary for your own protection. So, we are so interconnected and that interconnection, we are so interdependent and that process the way we are interdependent is so complex to understand that it is better to accept the fact, yes, we are interdependent upon each other. So, to protect our own self, we have to protect the whole universe, at least this planet earth, whatever is there on this planet. Let us think about planet earth, how to protect, how to save, so that we can save ourselves. This is the basis of Gandhi's philosophy of concern for the whole humanity. Not only I would say humanity, but all that lives, animal world, plant world and we have a uh, I would say faith in India that the rivers, the mountains, I think they are, they are all that is living. And we must care, we should not pollute the rivers, we should protect the mountains because they are all part of us. So, the Gandhi's philosophy is not just utopian, it is based on hard reality, which now science is revealing that think globally, act locally.